Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. Today in this video, I would like to share something about the advantages of DB2 on mainframe, right? So I have created three columns. One is uh, what is the future and what what makes a difference between the VSAM and uh, DB2. So let's go ahead and see. I have measured it as a 13 points. So so what is a what about the hardware independency when coming to the DB2? It can connect from PC to mainframe. You can uh, from mainframe uh, we have a uh, we can we we will be able to connect to a DB2 system in the remote. It is a separate entity or it can separate. It is a separate system where we can connect from mainframe to a DB2 system. Whereas in Visa for a Visa the mainframe it is uh, it is specific. D it is loaded completely onto the mainframe system itself. We're coming to security, high degrees of security has been given to your DB2 system. But uh, coming to a only at a data set level has been given. Coming to concurrency, increased concurrency, multiple tasks on the same table from different jobs. No concurrency for updates. Referential integrity, joins and constraints can be done. It is the developer responsibility when you're working with the visa. Independency. When a new column is added to a table, no change in the program when the views are used. Recompile all the programs if the files are not there for the new field. Coming to reorganization. Direct reorganization online review possible parallel reo. Delete and recreate downtime needed. No parallelism is there here. Recovery in the abide time. Always recoverable from log or backup auto recovery commits and rollbacks. No recovery in batch from backup only. Manual restore. Right? So, what are the backup? Online backup possible. Incremental backup, parallel backup. Downtown needed. No incremental backup. Right? When you, once you create the data set, that's it. You cannot expand it. Whereas in a database, if you are, it can expand it. It can take and can take a multiple backup. Disaster recovery supported by DB2, part of DAST recovery, right? So compared to Visa, DB2 has more security and more backup. Improved performance indexes can be used for faster faster retrieval. No such a facility. There is no index. Yeah. Okay, data retrieval selection criteria on different tables and a different columns. One record at a time, one file at a time. Right. So here, what shows the performance? You can say like multiple tables at a time and a different different columns. One record at a time, only one file. Column functions, group functions. Yeah, we will have a different kinds of functions like average, sum, min, max, group by having. So this is the beauty of the DB2 while working with the DB2 from mainframe. No such a person. There are no functions you find. If you want to write any function, just write a COBOL program, retrieve the data, read the data accordingly. Ease in the coding and preparation. Have to use delimiter, extra coding, extra preparation is required. It is a native to COBOL, easy to write, extra coding is required. No extra preparation is required. So that's the main thing. Since you are connecting from an extra, connecting to an external system, obviously you would need an extra preparation is required. Why? Because you need to purchase, you need to purchase things, systems, and you need to have a license and everything. So, since it is built on top of mainframe systems, right? It's apart from mainframe, so it is pretty costlier. Coming to the maintenance, it is costly. Why? Because we are working with another other system, so we need to purchase it. We need to have a license renewal every year, and it is cheaper since it is built on mainframe itself. So. So these are uh, the important DB2 advantages when coming, when comparing with the VSAM files. I hope you enjoy this video. If you feel, if you feel like this video, please kindly please subscribe this on YouTube, like or comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great and wonderful day.